Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, here we are going to solve one very interesting systems of equations where we have to find out the triplet XYZ for positive XYZ real valued. So let's get started. I will begin this video by writing equation number 1, 2, and 3. From equation 1, I can write square root y plus 76 minus square root y plus 11 equal to x. This is from equation number 1. Now I will rationalize my written radical equation. How it would be? I will multiply numerator denominator with its conjugate. So let me write here y plus 76 minus square root y plus 11 over the conjugate of that square root y plus 76 plus square root y plus 11. So I need to multiply in the numerator also. So y plus 76 plus square root y plus 11 equal to x. a plus b a minus b difference of two squares we will write y plus 76 minus y minus 11 over square root y plus 76 plus square root y plus 11 equal to x. We can cancel y and minus y. It will give us 65 over the same denominator y plus 76 plus square root y plus 11 equal to x. So conclusion is I will write the value of x, y and z from equation 1, 2 and 3. So from equation 1 we concluded x is equal to 65 over square root y plus 76 plus square root y plus 11. Similarly we will write for y then we will write for z, z. Okay. So if I will write this value let me write here 65 over in this I will get z and last we will get z plus 11 and last z we can write over x plus 76 plus square root x plus 11. Okay. Now without loss of generality if I will presume x is less than or equal to z. I am not solving algebraically. If you want, you can submit your solution. Okay, let me consider x is less than equal to y and less than equal to z. So we can put up few arguments here. Because of we know that square root x is monotonic increasing function. So we can write here square root x plus 76. It should be less than or equal to square root y plus 76 should be less than or equal to square root z plus 76. Similarly, I will write for 11 also. 11, it should be less than or equal to y plus 11. Should be less than or equal to z plus 11. Now add these two inequalities. Once I will add these two inequalities, I will write square root x plus 76 plus square root x plus 11 less than or equal to square root y plus 76 plus square root y plus 11 less than or equal to square root z plus 76 plus square root z plus 11. Now I will take reciprocal of the written terms. So I will write in this manner 1 over square root x plus 76 plus square root x, x plus 11. Now inequality will get reversed. 1 over square root y plus 76 plus y plus 11. Similarly the last one inequality reversed z plus 76 square root z plus 11. Now c if I will multiply with 65, let me write 65, 
65 we can do inequality will be unchanged now see what is this this written inequality term is z z second one is x third one is y so what is conclusion this was our presumption this was our consideration now after doing some operations on inequalities we are concluding z is greater than or equal to x greater than or equal to y if i will club both the inequalities i can write if you will write in the proper order you will write y is less than x less than z now club these two this one and this one so what we will conclude x equal to y then both inequalities will hold true so from here conclusion is x equal to y let's put x equal to y in x y z so we know that x is 65 over square root y plus 76 plus square root y plus 11 now i will put x is equal to y okay let's put over there so it will become 65 in place of y we will write x so x plus 76 plus square root x plus 11 what is this this is our z z see the relationship comes out very interesting point x is equal to z x equal to y x is equal to z so y equal to z so overall conclusion is x equal to y equal to z for positive real solutions now task is simple you know root x is monotonic increasing function let me frame one equation and then we will solve it so equation will become square root x plus 76 plus square root x plus 11 equal to 65 now you can see this side monotonic increasing function this side constant function at most one solution one solution so what we will do here using inspection i am solving directly basically using inspection method i will put x is equal to 5 directly you can check for other values you will get to know about this is our solution so i will write 5 plus 76 plus square root 5 plus 11 you can see 81 square root 81 is 9 square root 16 is 4 5 is there 13 times 5 65 that means this is the only solution for such equation similarly there are three other two equations so you, you will write y is equal to also 5 z equal to also 5 as they are equal to each other so our triplet becomes i will write my triplet 5 comma 5 comma 5 this is how we will think and proceed i hope this video will be meaningful for you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.